Okay, so I want to put an amendment to my last recording. I was trying to go in and do this segment and show you guys, and it kept giving me this error, and I'll show you what it's given me. And you'll see it at the end of the video, too. You seems like you can't submit previous temps, so I couldn't resubmit it because I want to show you my corrections, how I fixed it. So I figure out what's going on here is I have this assignment opening up here in a tab. What I'm going here is going in here, you know, to a new tab and trying to restart that assignment. And because I already had it open over here in another tab, it would not let me restart the assignment. So anyway, let me go in here and show you what it is on the end of this project. I went in and I fixed it all. And you can watch this video and I go through the steps and you see I'm getting this, this error message that keeps coming up here. And it's because the stupid thing, I got to shut it clear down and go clear back out of this. So you can't even be into it. In fact, I had to go clear out, exit out, and make sure I had everything shut down. And then go back into that assignment to open it back up. So if that happens to you, and also make sure you go clear through the end of my video where I export my database. And I'll just show you that really fast here. So what you're supposed to do is go into your database here. And I, I really messed up at the end. You go to this 110, and this is for the Access Chapter 2 report here. And anyway, with this open, and I'm talking about the exporting of it, which is step number four. And so what I was supposed to do was go up here and we're supposed to export the professional staff table. So I come in here and I did this all right, external data, and I'm supposed to send it out to Excel. And when I go in here, you browse, you don't change any of this. So you leave it professional staff. And you're supposed to put it, though, in the same place where my database was. So I had to put it in the same access chapter. It's got to be in the same place your database is. Then when you go in here, it says layout to the same folder which your database. Save the export steps. So when you go OK Next, it's going to tell you. I already had it there, so I was saying that. But you have to save, save. And here, you need to have this name. And I was going to try and change the name of the table. But anyway, you, you make sure that's the name. Save, save, export. It's already in use. Enter a different name or click manage data name specifications. Here, I can go delete the one that's out there. I'm sorry. So I have this database. Let me get rid of both these where I did this earlier. Delete them out. And now I'll be able to go in here and say, save exports. Uh, go back. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> Try it one more time. Go in here. Just make sure you put in the right folder where your homework is, where your database is. You save it there. You export the deal. Anyway, save the export steps. Save it as that name. Save export steps, say OK, and then it'll work. And then you can submit it for a grade, and you'll see how my deal. So I wanted to post that before the video, and you'll see I really screwed that one up.